What's up everybody, Jason Page here, and in this light painting photography tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a smoky or foggy effect using the light painting brushes Light Whip. The tools that I'm gonna be using is the light painting brushes Light Whip, attached via the universal connector to the Soon Fire DS31 flashlight. The Light Whip is a three foot long, flexible light painting tool. It can create all kinds of different effects great in your portrait photography you can use it to create things like light ghost which i will link another tutorial to but one of the easiest things to create using the light whip is a smoky or foggy effect this will be a quick and easy tutorial but this is something that you can use in a ton of different images the first one that i'm going to create is just a smoke or fog on the ground and all i'm going to do to create that is just take the light whip and simply lightly shake it around on the ground like this just always keeping it moving i don't want to stay still because if you do stay still you're going to get a single line in it or you'll get like a circle of light or a loop of light so you want to make sure that you're just always kind of shaking it around you just want to use slow and steady movements if you whip this thing around and really thrash it around like crazy it can break on you it's a pretty durable tool but if you're using the light painting brushes light whip slow and steady is how you're going to get the best results and maintain the integrity of your light whip the settings that i'm using are iso 100 f8 shooting on bulb mode and all i'm doing now is turning the light on and just kind of lightly shaking it all around the ground here there's no rhyme or reason to the way I'm doing it, just kind of lightly shaking it around to create this smoky or foggy effect all over the ground here. I'll fill in the center a little bit more. You guys can kind of see what it looks like if you do a little more in the middle part here, kind of come up a little bit, work at the camera, turn the light off, and that will be it for that one. And there you go, you can see that kind of smoky or foggy effect in the image there. Now I'm gonna create the smoke or fog effect using my own body as a silhouette. This is a much easier shot to create if you have a model to work with, where that model can just stand still and then you just go around them with the light whip. But since I don't have a model with me, I'm gonna go ahead and use myself to create this image. If you're using yourself, the things you want to watch out for is that you don't go over any place that you want to have your body silhouetted. You don't want to bring any light in front of that. So on camera side, you want to make sure there's no light on the camera side of your arm or your leg or anything like that to create that silhouette. Because if you do bring your light in front of where your silhouette's gonna be, then you're going to erase that part of your image. Because in light painting and in life, light erases darkness. So you just wanna make sure that you do not illuminate any of the parts of the image that you want to be dark. So the way to do that for me is by starting with a plan. And my plan is that I always work on the bottom first where my arms have nothing to do with the image. And then I place my arm how I want it to be. And then I will create on that side of my body. Once that's burned into the image, then I will turn the light off and switch hands and then place my other hand where I want it to be. And then work on that side of the image. It'll probably be a lot better if I just run you through one and show you exactly what I'm talking about. It'll make a lot more sense. So that's what I'm gonna do now. The settings are ISO 100 F8 shooting on bulb mode should be about 30 seconds. Here we go. So I'm standing in place, turning the light on and just kind of lightly shaking it around just on the bottom part. This is not where my hands are going to be. And again, I'm doing a wider base and then I'm going to kind of do that triangle on the way up. Now I'm going to put my hand in place on my left side and just go behind my hand here to create that silhouette, keeping it still. Now I'm switching hands. I'm gonna go up, straight up to kind of create the top of the pyramid, placing my right hand in place, creating the silhouette of my right hand now, keeping that as still as I can, and turn the light off, and that is the end of that exposure, and we see what we got. And there you go. 
And that is how you can create a smoky or foggy effect using the Light Painting Brushes Light Whip. I know this was a quick one, but I hope it gave you a good little idea of what you can do with the Light Whip to create that smoky or foggy effect. You can use this in all types of different images. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do hit that thumbs up button. If uh, you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button down below. If you have any questions, just put them down in the comment section and I'll try to answer anything that I can. Until the next video, guys, get out there and get creative.